Thank you, Senator Murray. Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Administrator, welcome. Nice Thank to see you again. Thank you, Senator. I, I want to talk to you for a second about something that I know you know a lot about, the Mishu Assembly Facility. And thank you for visiting, Bill. We really appreciate you coming out there. I think you came out uh, late in 2021. As you know, this is an 800-acre facility in New Orleans East and employs about 4,000 people. It's 20 public and private entities. And among other things, Mishu, Mishu Assembly Facility is the formal name, Mishu makes the rocket that will take the Orion spacecraft to the moon and to Mars. Um, we had a rough few years there when we were hit by two hurricanes and a flood. And uh, our roof was practically demolished. And, and NASA has supported, and I'm grateful for that, the money to get the roof repaired. And we're making progress. I was out there a few months ago. But, Mr. Minister, here's, here's what else we need help with. The administrative buildings were built in 1943. 1943. We're spending a million dollars a year just trying to repair them. Um, and, and now that we've got the roof back, um, you can't run a facility this large and this sophisticated without smart people administrating, administering all the programs. And we, we just need some help there. Can you give us some help? Senator, thank you for asking that question. You're welcome. Because the help, I can plead to you. We need the help. Okay. You've probably got a half a billion dollars worth of infrastructure that you need at Michoud. Yeah. Throughout the agencies, 10 centers plus 10 facilities. We've got $5 billion of infrastructure needs. It took me every skill that I might pro possess to get a hundred million dollars for Virginia and Maryland for a bridge to the Wallops Island launch facility that was going to fall in the water and was going to render that launch center obsolete. And thank goodness that you all passed an emergency appropriation. Did we get the bridge done? Finally. Okay, now can we turn to the administration building at Mishu Assembly Facility? Senator, if you will appropriate it, I'll come. Oh, we, we'll appropriate and I will, We will appropriate I will it. But I just want to make sure, Mr. Administrator, that once we appropriate it, it's a priority for you. It absolutely is, in okay. $5 billion. And, and let, me, let me just say how key Mishu is because it's located next to water and waterways. Yep. And so when the under contract under Boeing puts together these big cores of this largest rocket, puts it on a barge, uh, engines as well, which eventually come from up in Senator Britt's uh, constituency, and they come down the Tin Tom waterway, and they come to New Orleans, and uh, they're assembled there uh, before they go to Mississippi to the Stennis, and they test these engines, and then they assemble all that together, and then on a barge, it goes to the Kennedy Space Center. Yes. It's critically located. Do you mind if I interrupt you? Because I'm going to run out of time. If I yes, could have please. another 30 seconds to talk to the director here, Mr. Director. In 15 seconds, tell me the purpose of EPSCOR. The purpose of EPSCOR is to ensure that we make the talent and ideas in all of those regions in our country 
that have not been given the chance to express in its okay. fullest form. Let me put it another way. We passed EPSCOR 44 years ago. The problem was that all this money that we were giving you, your agency, was being spent in 10 states. Congress said, we've got smart people all over America. Start spending some of the money in other states. 44 years later, you're still spending the money in 10 states. You're still doing it. Not four months, not 4.4 years, 44 years. And I appreciate you creating a new program, granted or grunted or whatever you call it, okay? When are you going to start doing what EBSCOR is supposed to do? So, uh, Senator, the, the way I can answer it is I come from a small state myself, so I understand the opportunities and the, the Yeah, potential. but I want you to answer my question. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to answer okay. your question. Don't, don't answer my question because the, the chair's been very fa uh, indulgent here. Yeah. Answer my question. When are you going to start it, doing what the statute says here? Senator, to say? it's already started. In fact, it's accelerating now. It's accelerating now making sure that we are able to deliver on the EPSCOR promises that we have made, and the Chips and Science Act has even set targets, which I believe that those targets should be exceeded, not even met. So I am deeply committed, the agency is deeply committed to ensuring, and there is metrics associated with that now, so you will see progress. So this situation- Well, we haven't seen progress in 44 years. I'm talking about now, Senator, moving forward. I am committed, as the director now, I'm committed to delivering on the progress. Okay, I'm, I thank you, Madam Chair, for the indulgence. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Senator Peters. Thank you, Madam Chair. Administrator Nelson, it's certainly wonderful uh, to see you here uh, today. Uh, welcome back uh, to the Senate. Uh, 